This is an authentic Bayanquilaga bag. If you've heard of Balenciaga, this is their poor quality bootleg. And here's a puppy. Let's look at the puppy. Today, we're visiting Wu Fanpu Shopping District. Located in northeastern Taipei, you can find the best fashion deals at the lowest prices. We start our adventure on the outskirts. Right now, we're walking in. Wu Fanpu Shopping District is located in northeastern Taipei. You can access it by getting to Songshan Station, which is along the Green Line, or you can access it by getting to Yongchun Station, which is along the Blue Line. From either of the stations, you'll still have a 10 minute walk to get to Wu Fanpu Shopping District. If it's a rainy day and you can make it all the way to Wu Fanpu Shopping District, once you get there, the entire area is covered so you don't have to worry about rain as you squeeze through these narrow alleys. There are many narrow alleys throughout Wu Fenchpu Shopping District. Just to walk the entire area through every little alley will probably take you over an hour. Even though these are narrow alleys, you'll still find people using motorbikes, bicycles, and even sometimes cars going through these alleys. Be careful and stay alert. As we're walking down this current alley, you can tell that most prices don't really go over 200 NT. You can find some belts, hats, clothes, shirts, all for less than 200. The typical price range you'll run into is between 50 and 200 NT for most apparel. A lot of it may be non-brand, but the deals are unbeatable. You'll notice a lot of bags and clothes on the floor. That's all new clothes for sale. There's not a lot of room to really display all the clothes that they have available, so they just leave it separated in bags on the floor. This is pretty consistent for all the shops at Wu Fenpu Shopping District, because most of the shops are operated by one person, so they don't really have time to maintain all the clothing with racks, and they also don't have the space. So if you see bags of clothes on the floor, feel free to go through it and look for something you like. Oh, bike. Yep, watching out for these bikers. That's me. That's a selfie. Walking carefully. It's very dangerous. But yeah, you'll just see like a little kid walking around. So... The bikers, uh, the drivers are pretty good. You see this guy, he has a, he has uh yeah, he has stuff on his bike. That's very difficult. They rigged up this uh, transportation system just for this area with bikes and these little trolleys to move things around quickly. Hmm, what can I win today? Oh, heck yeah, shower head. That was a short little break. There are crane games along the outside of Wu Fenpu Shopping District with weird prizes. If you look at my blog post, we'll go over what they have available because some of that stuff is adult stuff. It's mostly toys. I've uh, never actually won at the crane games. I've probably spent a couple bucks trying and failed. On the eastern side of Wu Fenpu Shopping District, you'll find a temple and as you can see, a lot of kids use this open space to play around. We've made our way entirely down the center lane that crosses in the center of Wu Fenpu Shopping District from west to east. Now we're on the eastern side, headed south. We passed by multiple alleys along the way, so now we'll just take a look at some of the inner alleys as we walk through the outskirts.
fees are pretty expensive. 490 NT, which is about 16 US dollars for some clothes. I say that's expensive because typically you can find things for much cheaper. So yeah, that one's 290, that's about 9 US dollars. That was a shirt for six bucks. The conversion rate is about 31 New Taiwan dollars to one US dollar. And this is a car trying to drive down this very narrow alley. Here are a bunch of hats, and sunglasses, and balloons. And this is the rest of the street. As you can see, the ceiling is covered so you won't get rained on. Valenciaga, if you were dyslexic. Club sandwiches, not salty. I agree with that. Here is some modern, flashy clothes. From New Orleans, I guess? This is Like Street. Do you like it? There is something up with these clones. A clone of a clone is not as good as the original. I love money. All money money. Mirage, or Miracle, is a lingerie shop. That is a bootleg Kellogg's shirt at CEO. Waikiki, when it comes to summer. Family, because it looks like Family Mart, an Asian convenience store. Pizza, do you like pizza? Why not eat pizza, but buy clothes instead? Well, they sell no pizza. All in. This is the Wu Fan Poo. Nine day tattoo. Why get your tattoo in one day when you can get it in nine? These are adult toys, you can win them at the claw machine. It's also super illegal to have these at claw machines. That's a little too much irony, if I do say so myself. Here is a picture of the flea market. This is high fashion. Extra high fashion at Dior. Why not be from the future for only $50,000 for a shirt and glasses? Oh, that's a shirt that says Venice Beach. I really like the shirts with English text on it because sometimes they're awkwardly phrased or they say something that wasn't intended. A majority of the stores at Wufenpu Shopping District heavily favor women's fashion, but you can still find men's fashion and kids. I come here to get my LA and New York City shirts. Very authentic. Great! Feel free to pause the video and take a closer look at these shirts. 100 NT, prayer, open a window for you. See? It's a little awkwardly phrased, but still has a good meaning. For 100 NT, you got yourself an insightful shirt. What I really like about Wufen Poo Shopping District is that everything has prices on it. You get the price, you don't have to ask, you don't have to haggle, it's very transparent. You're not going to get tourist pricing. You show up, 
you know what you're in for, if you know it's a good deal, you can purchase it. For things that don't have prices and that do seem overpriced, you can still try haggling. Here you can see the enclosed ceiling of Wupenpu shopping district, so you won't get wet in the rain. Also, this guy is carrying a lot of stuff on his scooter. It's very impressive to see him threading the needle through these narrow alleys with that much inventory. If you're looking for a specific shop, look up the alley at the top of each row. I just want to see where this car is going. I believe in him. Here's another guy just maneuvering and accounting for obstacles. Very impressive. We continue our walk down Wufenpu shopping district in another alley. Oh, you got some Adidas here for around 100 NT. Pretty good, right? Super long women's shirts. Women's handbags. Men's clothings. Serious. Cool. Got some Spider Man. Oh, that's me avoiding a bike. There's a Wendy's shirt. I should have bought that. I like eating on Wendy's. Not a paid advertisement. I just like Wendy's. And they don't have any in Taiwan. It's not as popular internationally as McDonald's or Burger King or KFC. Those are pretty easy to get. Is there a little too much irony? Yes. Women's referee jacket. Swimwear. Dodging. Lots of dodging here. And that concludes another episode of First Person Shopper. I'm Dan, and if you've enjoyed this, let me know. Leave a comment, like the video, or subscribe. And until next time, I'm Dan, and I'm here to help you travel further, smarter, and cheaper.